Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing my Nordstrom Trunk Club for this month. There is a whole story behind this box. I did not think I was gonna be able to make this video for you because for some reason, this box got lost in the mail and it's never happened to me before, but apparently Nordstrom has now switched from UPS to FedEx. I guess they just got my address mixed up or something. So I reached out to customer service and told them that I had no idea where my trunk club was. They had marked it as delivered and it hadn't been. To make a long story short, a lady ended up showing up my door four days later and said that they had mixed up this trunk club with their address or something. I could not believe it. I was so thankful. I told her that she had made my day. I feel like now I'm going to appreciate this box so much more because I genuinely thought I would never see it. So before I start sharing with you what I got in my spring weekend trunk, if this is your very first time here to my channel, I have any video up for you every Monday and Friday. So if you're interested in seeing more romantic fashion, styling videos, unboxings, try and hauls, and shopper closet videos, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to leave my trunk club playlist linked above for you if you've been interested in learning more about it. But if you are wanting to try it out, I do have a $50 off referral link down in my description box that will cover your styling fee and it will also give you $50 towards something that you get to keep in your box. I can definitely tell that this trunk club has been outside for a couple days, so I hope that everything is okay. So this first piece is a crochet knit tank and I see this more so as like a vest almost, kind of like that pullover vest feel to it. I could totally see a balloon sleeve blouse underneath this. It's got some stretch to it. It feels very well made. Definitely a little bit more of sustainable quality, especially since it's made of wool and cashmere. But this is from a brand called Vince and it is in a size medium. I do think that the fit is going to be perfect. It's not quite in a crop style, but I do kind of feel like it's in the middle between a regular fit and crop. I love the crochet in the summer and spring. I just feel like they fit right into this season. But I'm gonna go try it on so that you can see what it looks like styled and I'll give you any more information I might notice about this piece. I just paired this on top of a white blouse and I like that you have options to come up with some really nice layered looks with this and I also like that it comes like right in place with these high-waisted jeans but the quality of this is really nice I can tell it's definitely a little bit more of an expensive piece just by feeling it and it's really soft and it looks like something that would pair really well with a lot of pieces that I have in my closet just off of this color so I wasn't thinking that this piece was going to be so high on the neck that is one thing that I'm not liking about it because I would like to have a little bit more room up here just to make it a little bit more casual and even just wearing on its own if you just wore like high-waisted shorts and a bralette underneath it it could pass as a top as well these look so cute. I asked the stylist to send me oversized denim shorts for the spring. They sent me a pair of Reformation denim shorts. The only thing with these ones is that I'm not sure if the size 31 is going to fit me because I feel like most of the time Reformation styles tend to run a little bit small. I don't know. I mean, looking at them, I think that they're going to be fine. The material from Reformation is always really soft and I always look forward to trying their pieces because they're very sustainable but I am going to go try them on and see for sure. So unfortunately this pair ended up being too small. Um, I was afraid of that but the material is really good and if you can get your size in these ones I definitely recommend them especially for the price. Usually Reformation is more expensive than that. They're definitely a little bit longer in the back which I really like about that and then they come up to a shorter style in the front. I definitely would have done better with a 32 that I just run into this issue sometimes where it's difficult to get shorts that fit my hips right. Okay so this next piece I actually swapped out. Um, I asked for like just a basic white top the one that they showed me it wasn't really like catching my attention but they actually have an option when you preview your trunk that you can scroll all the way down and swap out for different pieces and I saw this one from halogen this is a sleeveless blouse with that bow neck style it has the ruffled collar and it's in a button-up style it's more of a smart dressy top more for like work and stuff with halogen I'm always impressed with the quality and the reasonable price so I'm gonna go try this on come up with an outfit and let you know how the fit is and then I will continue moving on I 
love this big statement bill in the front and it definitely makes me think of something more designer, just the whole feel of this. I was going to style a vest with it because it would look really pretty with this big bow and statement collar, but because it's sleeveless, I think it would kind of throw me off a little bit. So I just kept it very simple. I really like it. Like it's extremely good quality, especially for the price. I'm gonna have to think about this one. This is a dress from Madewell. It has the cutest little straps. They're in a bow style, but this is in a midi dress length. It has the tiered style. It's in a floral pattern. I love this blue. And then it's got like the red and white florals on it. And this medium looks like it'll be a really nice fit. It is meant to be a loose style. I've always been drawn to Madewell as a brand because they're quality is really good and their material is always soft. It does have a second layer underneath the dress. It just feels really nice in the spring and summer, especially when it gets really hot. It's a nice light material, but it's still really good quality. ended up being a perfect fit. I love how you have this tiered style because it just works really well since I have the wider hips. Having it more fitted on the top for me just is always something nice for my body shape. There's no zippers or anything. You just kind of slip it over and adjust the straps as needed. But as far as the quality, I love it. And there's this really soft layer underneath the dress that just makes it comfortable to wear. And then in the back, you have this smocked material that just makes it very easy to move around. And this one is definitely something that I would wear. So this is actually something that I added into my trunk. This is a little hat from Brixton. I have been wanting to try these hats out for so long. I don't even know if I can pull them off. I just like the look of them. It just reminded me of stuff my grandpa would wear a lot. Just gave me a good sentimental feeling, so I had to try them out. Anything I get from Brixton, I have a tendency to like, so I really like that hat brand. I feel safe buying from them. This one in particular is called the Paris Knights Vest. It's a size medium. I love just having something different like this. I don't know why, like I just, I'm always drawn to them. I want something a little bit more artsy and out there. It's made in a really nice soft fabric, and I love how this gold just kind of reflects. It also does have like a little adjustment in the back if I need to bring it in. It looks like it'll be perfect. I'm gonna go come up with a fun outfit. I definitely have some fun ideas in mind with this vest, but I really like the fit of it. Any smaller and it would be a little bit uncomfortable, but this fits perfect. Like I feel like it was made for me. It's definitely meant to be more cropped and you have this nice um, dip in the front. And I just like that I can throw this on top of anything, like just a simple outfit like this one with the flared pants. I can get a very trendy look with it, but I can also throw it on top of dresses if I just want to add a little bit more of a fitted look. I just really like the unique style of it because you see a lot of just like pastel vests, which I think are really cute. But coming out with something a little bit more different like this is going to make it more fun coming up with different outfits. The quality is definitely there and I really like this button up style. They feel sturdy and I can even unbutton them if I'm wanting to go for more of a relaxed look. These ones look like they are exactly what I was looking for. They are from Levi. They're the high loose shorts. These ones look like they might be in that longer style that I'm looking for too because I'm wanting that like oversized look. I'm going to go try it on see what the sizing is going to look like and give you my thoughts on it. So 
these are the type of shorts I'm looking for where they come up really high and they actually like don't gape right here along the back. This one is a perfect fit and it has enough room for my hips, which I am so happy about. Usually with shorts like these, they're way too big in the waist, but then there's not enough room in the hips. With these ones, it's a completely different story. I have high, high waist like I like. It's not having excess material along my back. I actually feel like it's going to stay around my waist but then I also have enough room for my butt in the back and it also doesn't pull up super far. I have plenty of room to work with so that I feel like I can walk around comfortably in these. I consistently find myself going back to Levi shorts for my body shape. I just feel like they leave you enough room in the hips to work with. This is a dress from Love Shack Fancy and it's in an extra large. They finally had an extra large available. This is a dream of a dress. I am so excited about this one. I have been trying to get my hands on an extra large from Love Jack Fancy in a mini dress style for a long time. Nordstrom finally had them. This one is in a really pretty teal blue. It's got polka dots on it. It has florals embroidered along the neckline. I love this oversized sleeve and this one has a lot of room to work with in the top. But I'm gonna go ahead and try this on and see how it looks. But I can tell you right now, I think it's gonna be a perfect fit. This dress fits so perfectly. I am, I can't even, I'm so happy. I love this little ruffled style and just the detail on this dress is beautiful. With this floral pattern in the front, the ruffles, the little polka dots, just everything about this dress is 100% my style. The ruffles finally come down far enough for me in the back that I can be comfortable walking around in this. The elastic makes it really nice and easy to get into, and I thought for sure it would be a little bit oversized on me, but not at all. It's a perfect fit. A lot of times with the Love Jack Fancy dresses, especially in a size large, which is my typical size, they're usually too short for me, and they're too tapered in at the, at the hips. This one is perfect. I think anybody from the sizes 8 to 10 and maybe even 12 could get away with this style. This is a midi dress style. It's got the nice big puff sleeve. Oh, it keeps on falling off. If you are curvy, these two styles from Love Jack Fancy definitely take a look at because there's definitely a lot more room to work with in these. It's got the ruffled hem at the bottom. It's in a really nice, simple, soft cotton, but I'm honestly not as impressed with this one. Usually I'm like drooling over the styles and everything, but I knew I could find this one in much more affordable pieces. There's not as much embroidery and extra touches to it. With this one, I definitely could have gone for medium. There's a lot of room to work with. You have a smocked waist, but I'm always forever in love with the Love Jack Fancy styles, they are so romantic. I am loving this dress so much more than I was thinking. First of all, Love Jack Fancy just knows how to get the necklines right when it comes to feminine styles. This one is just enough skin showing, and I also like how you have this huge puff sleeve. It's not as oversized as I was thinking. After trying this dress on, if you're anywhere from a size 8 to 12, you could definitely get away with a size large. And if you're a size 8, I would definitely go for medium, but you could still get away with this style. And I like how you have more room on the top. There's definitely lots of room to work with up here. And then the waist is just so comfortable with this smocked style and then so much room to work with in the hips Which is something that I love about Love Shack Fancy Styles. I'm even thinking like wearing heels 
a hat with it would just make it so whimsical. It also does have a second layer underneath that just makes it more comfortable to wear. It feels like a very heavy, well-made dress. And then the last piece that I have to share with you is a pair of shoes. I asked for something a little bit more dressy because I do have a lot of sandals and stuff. I wanted something that would go with my dressy outfits. And these are just a simple pair of white heels. I feel like these would actually have been perfect for Easter. I did get these in a size 10 and they are perfect for the spring and summer. I'm just worried that I would really mess these up and get them really dirty and they just wouldn't last that long. They are very dainty and feminine and that's definitely something that I'm trying to get. I just want to make sure that I don't ruin them within like a month. <laughs> that is everything from my trunk club and I'm going to go ahead and share with you what I decided to keep. So I finally decided on what I wanted to keep for my trunk and I ended up keeping this dress from Love Shack Fancy because I had credit to cover it first of all and they finally had my extra large size. I'm really excited about this one. I am definitely going to be coming up with lots of reasons to wear this especially during the summer um, but I also did keep these high-waisted jean shorts. They fit perfectly and they were exactly what I was looking for. I just like this wash too. I don't have anything quite like this so I'm very happy to add this to my closet and I know I'll be coming up with lots of different looks with it. And then I also did keep this Free People vest. I was so excited about this one. Not as excited as I was about the Love Shack Fancy dress but this one I'm excited to come up with some more artsy looks like I definitely want to have some dressy and casual with this I just have lots of ideas on how I can make this unique so those are the three pieces that I kept from my trunk club after the whole ordeal with losing it and everything oh my goodness that was a bit crazy for me but thankfully everything worked out so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next video bye